find Kellogg's place. Let's go. Look what Hank's got underlined here. They have sown the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. Doesn't seem like a fit epitaph for old Hank. Yeah, but it's a fit one for the men who killed him. Looks at these tracks, it seems about eight riders. Same as last time. Looks like they took the horses too, same as the last time. Well, let's go see the sheriff, tell him they've hit another ranch. Won't be needing us now. No, Billy and I may ride out later on, look around. If we find out anything, we'll let you know. Now that goes for the rest of you fellas. Thanks a lot for trying. How about you buying me a beer, maybe? Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, you think you could brew me a pot of coffee? Yes, sir. Harry Bodine.
friendly faces. Harry, how are you? Nicholas, how are you? About time you paid us a visit. Ah, oh, Keith, I'm glad to see you. I didn't think you even missed me. Sure, we missed you. Well, now, you're quite a legend around these parts, Harry. We don't get sheriffs like you anymore. Uh, they see you around here, they'll have to put that badge right back on you. Not in that line of work anymore, Heath. <laughs> Folks around here will never believe that. It's true. I just stopped by to visit Emma's grave. Are you uh, staying in town? Not while we have a house, he's not. Wait a minute. I said anything about staying any place. Well, you've just been invited. Well, now, we can get together and talk about old times, Harry. Catch up with each other. Besides, I have it on very good authority we're having chicken and dumplings tonight for dinner. I call that hitting below the belt. <laughs> it's settled then. Come on, we won't right. start our You sure it's all right with me? Oh, sure, it's a right. pleasure. Come on. I'd like it. Well, this is like old times. I'm sorry Audra and Jared are away. Yes, I am too. Bet you he'd like something a little stronger than tea, wouldn't you, Harry? Oh, you have a bad memory, Nick. It's honey and lemon. Oh, you have a good memory, Victoria. Thank you. How long has it been? Um, five years. Been a lot of changes. Now, not with you, Victoria. You're just as lovely as ever. Thank you. But what would even be nicer to hear is that you've come back to stay. No, I'm afraid not. He says he's got business in San Francisco. Oh? Are you in business now? Mm, ranching on a small scale. No more guns, no more troubles. <laughs> the only things I fight nowadays are the drought and the hoof and mouth disease. <laughs> well, now, that's a far cry from the good old days, isn't it, Harry? Remember when we were on the trail of the Picture Rock Gang? Yeah. Well, they were holed up in this little Mexican town, and, well, we wanted to go in and shoot it out with them. But Harry here, he said, no, 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 don't do that. I'll, I'll take care of it. Well, he sure did. Dressed up like a peon and went in all alone. Look, Nick, I think we can skip the heroics of the good old days. By the time it was over, he'd gotten six of them. Four, only four. All right, only four, but you got them four on top of a running horse. <laughs> Harry, couldn't you stay just for a day or two? I do have some things to attend to, Victoria. A lot of people are going to be awfully disappointed, Harry, if you leave again so suddenly. Come on, Harry, a day or two won't matter. We got plenty of room. You make it very difficult to say no. Thank you. Good. Mr. Norris, come on in. Well, what is it, Billy? I sure hate to bust in this way, but there's been some trouble. Four men just shot down the sheriff right out in front of his house. Oh, no. He ain't dead, but he's in an awful bad way, ma'am. Doctor's over at his place now. What about the men who shot him? They got away, but I recognized one of the horses, a paint. Same horse one of them outlaws was riding when we uh, had that little run-in with them last week. Is that you, Mr. Bodine? That's right. <laughs> I'm sure pleased to meet you, sir. My pleasure, son. Well, say, we're, uh, we're getting together a posse to go out in the morning, and uh, I'd sure like to have you riding with us. How about it, Harry? We've been having our share of trouble, and then some. Those gangs have been raiding the outlying ranches and raiding the horses, and, well, nobody's been able to stop them. Four dead, seven wounded. We sure could use your experience. I don't suppose anyone here would mind if you took over as temporary sheriff, right, Billy? <laughs> Not one bit. I'm sorry, I'd... I'd like to help, you know that, but it's just, uh, I'm not in the business anymore. I hope you understand. Of course we understand. I'll go back to town with you, Billy. The sheriff will need help. Got to say so. You're looking very lovely this morning. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of driving a lady to town. Well, I appreciate your coming with me. Will you come in? I don't think so, Victoria. In Fred's condition, maybe one visitor at a time. I'll just uh, walk around town, maybe bunk into an old crony, tell a few lies. I'll pick you up about half an hour. All right. Uh, give Fred my best regards. I will. Hey. Fred? Oh, where are you? How do you feel? A lot better since you came in. Hey, uh, Billy was here earlier. He said they were riding out this morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's learning. He's learning pretty good, but he's, uh, he's awful young. Oh, now, Fred, you are not to worry. The doctor said so. All right, all right. Now, 
He said uh, Harry Bodine came back in town. Yes, he's staying with us just for a day or so. He's moving on? Well, Nick tried to get him to take over for you, but... <laughs> he agree? He disagreed. Yeah. Well, did he say uh, what he came back for? Oh, yes, to visit his wife's grave. Why? Hmm. Well, I never much uh, figured him for a sentimental man, but maybe he's changed. Lost a little blood, that's all. Doc Marar was just here, said he needs uh, rest and quiet. What happened? Well, that gang had a stinger on his tail, and we got a little bit too close. He could have been killed. We all took that chance, Harry, when we rode out of here. All except me. If I'd ridden out with you like you all wanted me to, maybe I could have prevented this. I... I'm sorry, Heath. I'm real sorry. Oh. fault. I mean, this thing has been going on way before you even came into town. That command accepts the friendship and hospitality of folks. He doesn't turn his back when they have troubles. No, no, no. We... We expected too much from you. We had no right to do that. A brother of yours in there could be dead. I didn't have the right to let it almost happen. You still interested in me pinning on a badge? Of course we are. All right, let me borrow that hardware of yours. What? Your gun belt and gun. We have it. Oh, all right. You uh, got any particular affection for that skinny little tree over there? No. no. All right. Can right, you let me uh, borrow a horse? Uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. for the theatrics, Nick, but I had to be sure. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Feel like old times? Old times, Billy? Oh, yes. Yes, I guess you could say that. Huh? Same old desk, same old chair, and it's <laughs> still got the same old squeak. Yeah, but 
better than five years of living in between. Five years of living and dying. You know, the last time I went through those doors, I swore I'd never put on one of these again, but somewhere in a man's life, a wheel starts turning, and he finds that he's gone full cycle. Uh, Nick was telling me about that shooting stunt you did. I sure wish I'd seen that. Stunt? <laughs> now, that, that wasn't really a stunt, Billy. That was 30 years of experience, or two minutes of reassurance to an old eagle who was wondering if he still could really fly. Well, I sure wouldn't say that you'd forgotten how. You wouldn't, huh? <laughs> Good boy. Well, now, suppose you just sat here on our nest and kind of, you know, hold things together. I got a little reconnoitering to do. I'd, I'd sure be proud to ride with you, sir. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for that later on, Billy. Plenty of time, believe me. Oh, Mr. Bodine? Mm -hmm. I want to show you something. Recognize this? Should I? It was yours. Yeah, it seems to me I do remember it. Where'd you get it? Well, I went looking for it, and I found it. You know, you're gonna have to refresh my memory a little better than that, Billy. Oh, it's Nick. He's always telling me stories about the days when you were sheriff. I guess I wasn't much more than about 12 then. Anyhow, he was uh, telling me about the time the Murrieta gang chased you up Bennett Canyon. Yeah, I remember that. Well, he said that by the time the posse got there, all you had left was one revolver and three bullets. You had lost your rifle, your horse, and a considerable amount of blood. <laughs> that Nick. He's a great one for remembering, isn't he? Well, so am I. I finally rode on up there and uh, looked for two days before I found that rifle. <laughs> I think that was the day I decided to become a sheriff. Well, you certainly did a Jim Dandy job of cleaning it up, didn't you? Yep, I sure did. It works pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. I made sure of that. I, uh, well, I figured maybe this morning you'd want it back. Do you, Miss Bodine? Billy, you can bet your bottom dollar I wouldn't walk out of that door without this rifle. <laughs> all right, now you sit here and mind the store like you're back, all right? Yes, sir. Billy. Lately, but we're gonna do even better. Yeah, I got some really big killings planned for us. Saving the biggest and the best for the last. What about the uh, ever-loving hosts, the Barclays? I said I was saving the biggest and the best for the last, didn't I? Everything's gonna go according to plan, according to schedule. Please have a drink. Oh, thanks. Not, not while I'm working. Yeah. Glad to see you looking better. Uh, thank you. You'll be back again in the saddle in no time. It won't be too soon. Old Nick's put all the paperwork on me. Huh. 
I can do all my ranching business on the back of an old envelope. Yeah, looks like you're doing even better than ever, huh? Oh, we can't complain. I'd have to live another lifetime to get up into your class. Oh, maybe not, eh? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Harry! Victoria! Oh, that looks good. Huh? Oh, well, yes, I must admit it doesn't hang as heavy as I thought it would. Oh, are you dressed to go into town? Mm-hmm. I daily visit to Fred. You going into town alone? Well, now, I've been going alone into town for a good many years. Well, now's a little different. Maybe I'd better get one of the hands to ride in with you. No, 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 I think he's is right, Victoria. Some of those outlaws, they may still be in the area. I'll, uh, I'll ride along in with you. You take care of yourself now, Heath. Thanks, Harry. Yeah. Oh, Heath, that can wait, you know. Well, don't worry, it's gonna. Pick you up in about a half hour or so, all right? The outlaws are after horses, not women. If you don't mind, I just uh, kind of keep an eye on you just the same. I don't mind. Trouble, Harry? Mm, no trouble at all. Jester, how'd you like to be so rich that you never have to draw that gun of yours again? You never have to sleep nights in a dirt camp like this, never want for anything again the rest of your life. You're talking about a lot of horses, Harry. <laughs> no, not horses, a woman. One woman. I've been looking for that woman ever since I jumped jail in Sydney. I found it. Spell it out, mate. Mrs. Victoria Barkley. Hey, now, take it easy. Jesse, do you realize that Barkley spread lock, stock, and barrels worth more money than you and me will ever see in our life? And I suppose you've uh, taught the lady into deeding it over to you. Better than that. We are going to take Miss Victoria Barkley. And her sons will sell the ranch, everything on it. Turn every penny over to us to get her back alive. Kidnap the lady? Exactly. We'll have her out of here before they even mess her. Hold her my place in Sonora, down across the border. Give them time to sell everything. Turn it into cash. They come down. We make the swap. I don't know, Harry. It's dicey. Huh? You know, risky, mate. No, don't you see? We won't have to change our plans one bit. Now, she goes into town every morning, just like clockwork, doesn't she? Tomorrow... Instead of you leading the boys over to the Gunther Ranch, you will be on the trail waiting for her. You take her, bring her here. What happens if I uh, run into the King's officers on the trail, Harry? Not a chance. Every able-bodied man in town will be on that posse with me. Be only two people on the trail. You and her. In that case, I'll uh, be there, love. Where's my little Rosa? Sleeping. It's too early for that. Make yourself comfortable, Harry. I'll get Silas to make you some tea. All right. Looking for this? Well, that's what I call service. How did it go? Well, we had our usual luck. I uh, thought you went into town, Victoria. I've already been there and back. 
Uh, we were up around the North Road all day. Funny we didn't run into you. Oh, I had to stop by the Simmons place first, so I took the back road. Thank you. She didn't turn up. I know that. She drove home the back way, that's all. We'll do it tomorrow. Same plan. Mr. Bodine? Mele. Having any trouble, sir? <laughs> no, no, no trouble at all. Just having a friendly little argument with an old pal of mine is all. Yes, sir. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here fast before somebody else gets a look at that pussy horse. And now, can I be sure she'll be there tomorrow? I guarantee it. Because I'll be escorting her personally. All right, Harry. I'm not feeling very well. Oh? Well, maybe you better stay in today. Mind the store, huh? Thank you, sir, but not if I'm needed. No, 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 no. You take care of yourself. We'll manage well, Archer. Yes, sir. Open if you see anything interesting, fire two shots. That clear? Yeah. All right. Oh! So I thought I'd come by. You're getting as bad as my boys. Of course, if you're getting tired of my company. Oh, never. Never, Harry. <laughs> you sure, Billy? Absolutely sure. Yes, sir. It's the same man, all right. He was arguing and talking with Mr. Bodine right outside of the office last night. Get Harry Bodine. Don't tip anything. Just tell him to come here. Tell him I want to talk to him. Well, I... I don't know where to look. I'll try the Barkley Ranch. Yes, sir.
sorry, Victoria. Get down. What is this? Afraid you're gonna be away from your family for a little while. I really am sorry about doing it this way. Well, I guess I'm not really shocked after all. The sheriff said you weren't a sentimental man. Meaning what? Fred said that when your wife was dying, you used to visit a woman in town regularly, but uh, I didn't believe him. Get down. What are you? Jester, you all right? I'll live to make her regret it. Don. Get her up on that horse. Mrs. Barkley will be our permanent guest until you deliver us $250,000 in cash. If you stall, you'll never see her alive again. We'll contact you in 30 days. That can't be Harry. Not even after what Billy's told us? I can hardly believe it myself. Why, Sheriff Bodine was one of the best sheriffs this town ever had. That's right, Billy. That's what makes him so dangerous now. Well, they can't be far. There's bound to be tracks where they got out of the buggy. What are we waiting for? Where do you think you're going? You're in no condition to ride. He's trying to stop me. All right, come on. Just uh, dodge the fire and tell the boys you're ready to move out. Good morning, Victoria. Rose, get you something before we go? Nothing. It's gonna be a long, hard ride. I'll try to make it up to you when we get where we're going. Just where are we going? A little place I have down Sonora Way. What happened, Harry? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, horse thief, kidnapper. Oh, you mean risking my life as a sheriff all these years for a plate of beans and a thank you kindly was more honorable. Wasn't it? How did you get yours, Victoria? Did some man work his life away for you, getting it for you any way he could? Do you really hate us that much? I watched and waited while my wife died because I couldn't earn enough money to pay for an operation. All right, sure. There was another woman, why not? All those years, Emma was six. She, she was never a, a real wife to me. So you came back here to get even, hmm? Huh? And I'm doing a pretty good job of it, ain't I? Perhaps, if that were the real reason. What do you mean? Well, you know, Harry, I think you always liked this sort of thing. Even the men you killed when you were sheriff. Didn't you envy them their free and easy ways? Oh, no, Harry, no. No, I would say that you've done a very bad job of your whole life. I don't think I like your conversation anymore, Victoria. A man can doctor a lot of conscience if he has enough money. That's not it. Time for Hanson. I don't like her. <laughs> My little Rosa. She's our ticket to happiness. You like that, don't you? Hi. Hmm? Hello. Right. Seems to me they're leaving a pretty good trail. Or maybe a little too good. Yeah. Come on.
At least that makes less to handle when we catch him. Yeah, but which ones do we follow? Wait a minute. doing it this way, but I got no other choice. There's a mining ghost town back up there in the hills. Let's go. Right out. Come on, boys. There's Mr. Bodine's horse and the paint. How do you invite him? Why don't we just bust on down there and surprise him? I uh, think that's just what Harry wants, and we're not going to do it. You stay here and keep out of sight till we get something started. I think we'll all remember. Well, well, look here. Now, this is quite a delegation. Something wrong? Sort of an unofficial welcoming committee, Sheriff. 
Maybe I can get a raise. Well, we'll talk to the town council, see if it can be arranged. <laughs> hey, who? Victoria? Does the doctor know you're out? Well, not unless Billy here told him. Not me, sir. What are you doing in town? Oh, I get off the old homestead once in a while, haven't you heard? Take care, you hear? Yo! Boys, there is some woman. Place. Let's go. Look what Hank's got underlined here. They have sown the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. Doesn't seem like a fit epitaph for old Hank. Yeah, but it's a fit one for the men who killed him. Of these tracks, it seems about eight riders, same as last time. Looks like they took the horses too, same as the last time. Well, let's go see the sheriff, tell him they've hit another ranch. Won't be needing us now. No, Billy and I may ride out later on, look around. If we find out anything, we'll let you know. Now that goes for the rest of you fellas. Thanks a lot for trying. How about you buying me a beer, maybe? Oh, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, you think you could brew me a pot of coffee? Yes, sir.
Harry Bodine. Hank Kellogg's place. Let's go. Look what Hank's got underlined here. They have sown the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. Doesn't seem like a fit epitaph for old Hank. Yeah, but it's a fit one for the men who killed him. Looks at these tracks, it seems about eight riders. Same as last time. Looks like they took the horses too, same as the last time. Well, let's go see the sheriff, tell him they've hit another ranch. Won't be needing us now. No, Billy and I may ride out later on, look around. If we find out anything, we'll let you know. Now that goes for the rest of you fellas. Thanks a lot for trying. How about you buying me a beer, maybe? Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, you think you could brew me a pot of coffee? Yes, sir. Harry Bodine. 